Data from the World Health Organization confirms cases of diphtheria in Nigeria as of April 2023, affecting 21 of the 36 states and the federal capital territory. From May 14, 2022 to April 9, 2023, more than a thousand cases were reported, including deaths amongst the confirmed cases. An outbreak in Abuja, Nigeria's capital, is generating concerns over public health safety. Diphtheria is a bacterial infection. First thing that you would notice is a whitish, uh, grayish plate that will cover the tongue, the throat, back of the throat, or the nose. And it would make the patient have difficulty in breathing and in swallowing. The person could come down with fever. It can affect people of all ages, but it is more common with children. Normally, the people at risk of diphtheria are uh, children who are not immunized. When you have a crowded uh, environment, it is easy for the transmission of the disease. It's an airborne disease. The best prevention is va uh, vaccination. It is vaccine preventable. Rather than living in a, in a crowded area, it would be good to, for you to sleep in a room that is well ventilated. Uh, you keep yourself clean. Uh, you make sure your children are, are well nourished. Like I said, if you are malnourished and you are exposed to diphtheria uh, um, bacteria, you are more prone. Executive Director, National Primary Healthcare Development Agency, speaks on plans and efforts to contain the spread of the disease in Nigeria. What has happened is that uh, during the lockdown as a result of the COVID-19 pandemic, uh, a lot of women did not take their kids uh, to take their shots, either because the health facilities were not working or because of the lockdowns, uh, they could not actually take their kids for vaccinations. Now, despite uh, communications that they can now go back and do a catch-up, I will find that uh, parents have now uh, sort of taken uh, this for granted and have not gone back for those catch-ups. Nigeria is only one of uh, about five countries where we did not see a plummeting of routine immunization uh, coverage as a result of COVID-19. Uh, we still experience a reduction uh, in uh, coverage as a result of uh, uh, COVID-19. And we're working together with the states to see how we can rapidly uh, reach kids that were missed during the, the campaign. This is why uh, we've, got, we've done two rounds of an intensive campaign across the most vulnerable LGAs to try and be, uh, beef up uh, the, the coverage uh, for, for uh, pentavalent vaccine. The pentavalent vaccine is usually given at uh, six weeks, uh, 10 weeks, and 14 weeks. That is the usual schedule according to the Nigerian, uh, you know, routine immunization schedule uh, that requires that all uh, kids should get their vaccines when uh, they are due for it. What we do as an agency uh, is, of course, uh, communicate, working with traditional uh, religious leaders, political leaders, uh, to help us take this message uh, to the communities, uh, to even the hard-to-reach areas around why it is important uh, to get vaccination. The rise in the number of diphtheria cases can be blamed on many factors, including ignorance about the disease, vaccine hesitancy, lack of accessibility, and others. If the parents do not bring the kids for their vaccinations, uh, then of course uh, we have to, to uh, go all, all the way there. Recognize that uh, there is still a lot of disinformation and misinformation around vaccination. There's still some hesitancy, you know, so some of the parents are not taking their kids for vaccination due to non-compliance. Uh, and we've not witnessed an unusual increase in people falling sick because of any vaccine. So we know that vaccines are safe, they are potent, right? And we have to continue uh, to speak up. We have to continue to communicate the right messaging. We cannot allow the vaccine doubters, those who sit in the corner of their room you know, and send out messages that are not correct. No LGA can say that the problem is that the vaccines are not there. The vaccines are there. They are supplied, they are effective, they are potent. Nigerians should access these vaccines free of charge. Anywhere you go to a primary health care center and they're charging you for uh, the vaccinations, then you should blow the whistle.
Joint efforts would therefore be needed to prevent further spread of the disease. Oli J. Wapera, Arise News.